quick bonus video. That's my 50 watt panel, my 200 watt panels. Um, these two panels are on a branch connector because it's overcasty today and I'm getting tired of unhooking it. <laughs> so this was always the plan to kind of have this third panel be on my smaller portable power station, which can only take about 50 watts. It's putting out about one amp right now, but you can see it's not a super bright day. I think the max I've seen, I haven't measured this a lot because I had these panels for the uh, longest time when I got my two power stations and before I got this tool. But I think the highest I've seen on this one right here has been about 1.67 amps. And it's putting out about 118 when I tilt it up to, let me just show you. I mean, you gotta be curious, right? Zero it out, pop it on, you get 1.32. And these are kind of overkill in this situation because it's 200 watts going into a, panel, uh, a portable power station that can take 80. But when the sun kind of goes between the clouds, then these two panels would give me some power. But if you saw the previous video, which I'll link up, then you kind of know what this is, this setup is headed for. But now I got <laughs> three sets of cables going into the window. <laughs> Let me show you. I had this idea to put two towels here and I finally did it because uh, I don't want to move these. I want to still have both of my panels hooked up so I can get output to both of my portable power stations. So we'll see how the two towel <laughs> strategy holds up as winter kind of goes on. Branch connectors going into this portable power station. And on a day like this, this one just wouldn't be getting any power. I think this one has the ability to take the voltage in easier than this one. But now today, this one's getting power from this separate set on a 50 watt panel. I only have my laptop running from this one. And I got a couple like cell phone chargers running from this one. Let me show you what the branch system is pulling in. This thing lights up once you go over, I think full four amps. So this one's getting pretty good power. It could probably pull about three something just on one panel kind of turned toward the sun if the sun is out. It would at least get two. Actually, that's pretty much what it's getting. I'll come up here and go on one joint, 1.97 for one panel, and then two point, which is a little bit different if I'm on the negative. Let's see if I can get on the positive. Oh, it's a little higher. So yeah, two amps a piece from those panels. But then again, you never know how much power they could be pulling because this maxes out at 80 watts at about four, like five some odd amps. So I'm gonna dig into some testing on the next real sunny day, which I think is gonna be tomorrow. I think this weather today is going to be um, kind of what it's gonna be like tomorrow, but a lot clearer. Just a quick note on this branch connector, typically these would go on the panels, but you see how I have the panels set up I can't put them that close together because these things are really short. They're about like 12 inches. So I'm losing like two cables out of this deal. I could branch them, the panels together with this thing on the panels, close to the panels. And then that would give me extra cable to kind of run the 50 watt panel out a little further too. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> All right, I'll holla.